Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is April 4th in 2024. Uh, time keeps going by. These years, I'm still not used to 2024, but that's besides the point. But yeah, I'm just doing a, an extra problem that I haven't done before uh, with RNG. So uh, hopefully when it loads, I could get to see it. Today's extra bonus problem is 1062, longest repeating substring. Given the string S, return the length of the longest repeating substrings. If no repeating substring exists, return zero. Hmm. I was going to say, I guess, hmm. I mean, 2000 is a kind of an interesting thing, right? Because maybe we could do n square or n choose 2 in any case. But, hmm. The thing with these strings are that there's so many different possible things. Because um, n choose 2 is going to be about 2 million and 2 million... Eh, 2 million times the length is going to be too much to hash. We can also do like Robin Cobb or something to hash, but that still sounds a little bit yucky. Um, in the, uh, well, but before I dismiss it, is there any, um, hmm. well, we could do a binary search, right? So we don't have to do everything. Okay. I guess that, that is it, right? We binary search We wait, is that true? Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Because I mean, I, in the way, the reason why I kind of pause a little bit is that when I said, oh, I could do a binary search, right? The thing is that at that point, I, I was like, oh, wait, no, it has to be monotonic, right? Monotonically, um, in, monotonic in some way. And I wasn't sure right off the bat, but then I, a second later, I was like, oh, yeah, of course you can. Because if, a, if the longest repeating substring is three, that means that a substring of that is also repeating, which is two and one. So that means that it's going to be true for one, two, three, four, five, dot, 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 to some some k and then k plus one is no longer good, right? So we could definitely do binary. Um, yeah, uh, I. And you could do that with a sliding window warp and corp. I feel like that's a little bit of overkill, but maybe. But but let's do it. You know, there's no such thing as overkill. If that's the only solution you have, right? So uh, so let, let's get to it. Um, Yeah, I think, yeah, okay, right? Yeah, because I, I don't think you can do the actual string. Easily, right? Because the idea then is that you hash every substring, but in a sliding window kind of way, but you have still have to hash it with O of L cos or, or put in a hash table or set or whatever in O of L cos, and that's too much. But... But with um, with rolling hash, then there we get the the benefit of um, of doing all of one incremental changes, right? So warp and cop, rolling hash, those are the two. I mean, they're, they're the same thing. It's just kind of oops, um, you know different names for it. So if you want to Google up and learn a little bit more, I'm not gonna get into it too much. Uh, usually, I do rederive everything though, so it's not like you know, so it's not like I memorized this per se. Uh, but yeah, but okay, yeah. So now let's set up the binary search. So left is equal to zero, right is going to be equal to n. Meaning, I guess it cannot be n, right? Because it's n minus one, because the entire string doesn't repeat by definition. And then you have the standard binary search. I always made my make my bounds inclusive, so that when when the bound is or when the range is one item, then that is, is your answer, right? So then now um, binary search. Uh, let me know in the comments if you think I should do a binary search video. Maybe that'll be helpful. Who knows? I, I have most of one written, but uh, or recorded, but uh, but I'm not happy with it. That's why I didn't release it yet. But I don't know. Who knows? Uh, but yeah. So if good of mid, uh, and what is good? Good is if if a string of length mid exists, right? So here we can find good of target. Uh, rather us. Uh, sub string of length target repeats right so returns true if yeah so that, so that means that we return true 
that means that we want to try something bigger. But mid is also an answer, so we said left is equal to mid. Otherwise, mid is not possible, so we have to try something smaller. So right is equal to mid minus one to compensate for whatever we do with that. And that's pretty much the idea behind this part. But then now we have to do the target part, right? Um, and with Robin Cobb, we, we have two major things. One is the base. I just Usually you just need to choose a base that is bigger than the size of the alphabet. So I, I just usually do like that. And then um, a big prime, which is the mod. Uh, the mod, I usually just Google for a big prime, but there are different ways you, you're supposed to handle it for the sake of this video. I'm not going to do that. But I am usually just uh, Googling literally for 20 digit prime. And then usually it just gets me a random one somewhere. So yeah, so I just get, I don't know, I don't know, what, and hopefully they're not lying to me, but it doesn't even matter, if it's 20 digit number, you're probably fine, it's just some smaller, higher probability of collusion, right? But, uh, but yeah, and but basically the idea is just shift and add, and shift and add, and taking things out, and that's why, um, yeah. Okay, so here, <clears throat> We see if it exists, so we have seen as you go to this, right? So now we want to set up the hash. So I in range of s, or, uh, length of s, or I guess this is just n, I really defined it, right? So, oh, and the current hat, uh, current rolling hash, right? So current, we want to shift, so we times it by base. We want to add, so we add this by s sub i. You have to convert this to a number uh, by using ASCII, and then I I always just do like you know I do I write it this way so that I don't do the repeat operation, uh, and then I add it by one so that it doesn't mix with zero. Zeros I find like has some weird stuff. So yeah, so then now we it can mod this right. Uh, yeah, so this is now inc including the I, and maybe in a sliding window kind of no, I mean that's fine. Right, and now we have to take out the other part, right? So if I minus target is greater than less than zero, then now we have too many items. So we have to kind of subtract out I minus target, right? So do, 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 I minus target minus one plus one. But is this number shifted how many times? Target times. Because, yeah, I mean, because, yeah, uh, yeah. So it's this times based well yeah well you want in a mod power just well it's called power anyway but uh you want base to the target power with a mod right uh, and of course this doesn't change really for the purpose of this function so i forget what i or kill i don't maybe i named need to uh Name this. I have to figure out what I. I forgot what I'm name. I, I forget what I'm naming it. But yeah, and then now we can mod again. Keeping in mind that in Python, the mod actually, if, if we have a negative number, it the mod brings it to from zero to mod minus one. So not always the same in other languages, along with overflows and stuff like this. But but yeah, okay. And then now we want to see if if I. Minus target is greater than less than you uh, That's a little bit awkward. But basically, if I'm always off by one on this, to be honest. But basically, it's just saying that you have target numbers. If and you have target numbers, if I minus target plus one is greater than you have zero, right? Because this is the number of numbers from I to I minus target plus one inclusively. Basically, you want target numbers, so it's going to be i and then i minus target plus one. Yeah, I don't know why I really struggle with this. But yeah, but th this basically just means that you have enough numbers, I think. Yeah, I think this is right. Then now we can say if current is in scene, that means that we've seen this before, so now we return true. Otherwise, scene dot add current, and then at the very end we can just return false because we have not seen a duplicate, and that should be mostly good. Maybe I have an off by one because I'm really bad at these for some reason. I need like why why am I so bad at these? I don't know. 
yeah uh, all right let's give it a submit hopefully i didn't make a silly mistake and looks good uh and this is robin corp what's the complexity here well here it is going to be log n right you have left right binary search on n so log n uh this is o of n right this is we have an o of n loop o of one operations everywhere um especially since you, we keep it inside mod so that caps i mean you could maybe say something about on the order of bits but you know it, it's all of n for, for today for me uh yeah so this is that means that this is all of n this is all of log n number of iterations so this is going to be n log n and that's pretty much it i am curious if they have another solution i mean that's basically what i did to do what is going on here subtask 2 okay Hash. okay so I guess this is basically what we've done oh maybe not maybe this but that's that's definitely what we did though so I guess if you want to also read up on Marvin Cobb maybe this is a good enough solution I don't know I don't want to confirm either way because I'm too tired to read this I actually ran 13.1 miles today plus actually like a couple more miles just for fun uh and i'm really pooped to be frank so yeah that's all i have for this one let me know what you think hit the like button hit the subscribe button join me on discord let me know what you think about this video this and robin carb and all these things stay good stay healthy take good mental health i'll see y'all later and take care bye bye